to avoid discoloring of peeled bananas, ensure that in your water at least you have one tea tablespoon of salt. Another hack, remember to grease your hands before peeling the bananas. Actually, this is the simplest way of peeling bananas. You just cut both ends of a banana and then split it depending on how many sections you want to split and then peel. Hey lovelies, welcome and thank you so much for clicking. Greetings to the world and whoever is watching me right now. In case you are new here, you are so much welcome. This is Everything with Lobito. I'm a Kenyan content creator based in the village. And in my channel, I do more village lifestyle, village cooking and traveling. I pray that you find it amazing. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Watch my videos, comment, and let me get to know what you feel about my content. To my returnees, I truly appreciate the love. I do not take you for granted. Know that deep down my heart, I appreciate you 100%. On to our episode of today, I'm going to prepare a very common meal in the village. And it's my prayer that you will find it interesting. I'm so sorry for the background noise. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so, let me show you. I've been peeling this. This is what I've been peeling. So, these are the peels. These are the peels. And this is the banana. The green bananas that I'm going to prepare for lunch. Uh, I urge you to stick around with me so that you can enjoy the the process of preparing these green bananas because we have different types of preparing matoke this is a common a common food and in my village where i have been born and raised this is a stable meal it's a stable meal you can eat it for breakfast for supper for lunch <laughs> okay guys so so first so first I'd like to remove the pills so that I can get enough space for me to prepare this meal but in a special way I want to appreciate you for always supporting me guys for the past for days i haven't been feeling okay thank you for the prayers thank you for the well wishes i really appreciate and having you as my online family makes me a complete content creator here in the village guys you don't know you really don't understand how i feel getting the wishes and all the quick reco recoveries messages from you I, I dearly appreciate and may god bless you so let's get onto the video guys and enjoy it to the very end after peeling after peeling the matokes they leave you with a gum a sticky gum because this plantain was fresh from the farm it has some milk milk that turns into a sticky gum guys you can see so i'm going to try and get rid of it with using this this is corn flour and try and wash so this is how <laughs> this is how
have grown knowing this is a, a hack on how you can easily remove the um, banana milk yeah it's a milk that turns into sticky something something of a kind <laughs> it's either you use this corn flour or you can use kerosene cooking kerosene but since, since i don't want to leave my hands smelly i decided to use the corn flour um, And then I start washing my bananas. Why? you are wondering why I'm still on gumboots after this time guys it's raining here in my village it's heavily raining so the, the only way that you can maneuver around is by putting on your gumboots mm -hmm. so that it will be easy for you to walk So once I'm done chopping them to these sizes, I'm going to drain off the water so that we can start cooking. Preparing this food requires some good amount of onions and in this I have combined two types of onions, the leek and the spring. Not everyone loves garlic so that's why I omitted it because I don't want to limit others from eating guys. Mm -hmm, that's why so fast I chop my onions onto this cooking saucepan you can see a good a good amount of them and then I will place this on fire so these are some of the spices that I'm going to use the tomatoes the sweet pepper here and this one I don't want to lie. I don't know how it's called in English, neither in my language. What I know, it's a good spice that we use in cooking. <laughs> but um, I promise I'm going to do research on this. I don't know how we call them. But I'll come. Next time I'll come with a good, a positive answer on this. So please don't question me on the comment section. And if you know how it's called kindly on the comment section, let me know.
add some salt. First, remember we start by cooking our onions. I want to move this camera closer so that you can see. Oh, there you go. Once our onions are halfway cooked, I will then come in with our tomatoes, our sweet pepper, and the other spice that I don't know the name, <laughs> and then cook them together. I'll cover and give it time to cook a bit. So meanwhile, guys, let me know how do you normally prepare this type of a a meal because <laughs> this is one way this is one way of cooking it and i love it this way on the comment section let me know do you also do the same thing Then I will add so here I give it a good mix to ensure that the ingredients incorporate so well with our bananas before adding some some water. cover for a short while before adding water So I will cover and leave it to boil until it's well cooked. Finally, 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 our matoke stew is super ready. And as you can see, it looks so delicious, tasty, and very juicy. Guys, reason, this was very organic, fresh from the farm, and organically 
prepared. In a special way, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate each and every person who took his or her time to support this content. On the comment section, please, I'd love to know what have you learned so far? Do we do the same thing in your places or it's a bit different? To my returnees, thank you so much. To my new subbies, feel at the right place. Until then, it's a bye-bye and I appreciate you so, so much. Bye, guys.